All right, today we're finally going to draw the PA44 prop system. One thing to keep in mind uh, is that because this is drawing the PA44 prop system, I'm going to make a couple of assumptions. Uh, number one, I'm not going to explain fly weights. Uh, and number two, I'm not going to explain why changing the blade angle uh, of the propeller changes the RPM of the propeller. I'm going to assume that you know both of those things. Uh, if you're not comfortable on both of those things, I'll have videos for both of those and they'll be linked within this video. So for the moment, uh, to draw the prop system we should start off with a prop. So we'll start out by drawing a prop hub. And we'll draw the hub right here and we'll draw a propeller propeller doesn't have to look good because it's really uh, surprisingly it's not all that important in the grand scheme of things and we should draw a oil sump so we'll draw an oil sump here right about there we'll say label it oil sump and we should have a line moving the oil from the sump to the hub something like that so there we go oil moves and we should have a pump to pump the oil as well so let's draw that on there the pump is not very important so it'll be drawn in light green so there we go the oil pumps excuse me the pump moves the oil to the hub so the oil is moving in this direction right here right here right there and it flows into the prop hub in this direction opposing the oil we've got a spring and this is a extremely beefy spring uh, this spring has lots and lots of pressure and it pushes this way and it opposes the oil pressure so we can uh, make a couple of statements here we can say more oil really more oil pressure um, equals more RPM. More oil pressure, more oil equals more RPM. We can say less oil pressure less RPM. And uh, this is one of those things that you're just going to have to understand if you have a problem with it uh, or if it's something that you don't quite understand yet then um, click this button right here and uh, there will be a video that explains it but for the moment uh, we'll just kinda move on we'll say that uh, you understand why more oil means more RPM less oil means less RPM and you're happy with that uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to erase part of this uh, we'll take out a little section right here and we're going to draw a pilot valve so the pilot valve is going to look something like this right there and we're going to divide it into segments uh, in this segment right here the neutral segment no oil can flow through uh, and we'll draw a neutral right there and we'll draw a neutral right there okay so in this segment no oil can flow through in this segment, oil can flow into the hub, and in this segment, oil can flow out of the hub. Uh, we also need a line to return oil back to the oil sump when it flows out of the hub, and so we'll draw that right there. So this is an oil return line, and it's got oil returning out of the hub. So there we go. Okay, now um, we're going to draw some flyweights and we'll put the flyweights, uh, let's see I don't have a good color for the flyweights, we'll make them pink there we go okay the flyweights are gonna be right there and once again um, if you're not comfortable with how the flyweights work click here and uh, it'll take you to a video about the flyweights but again, for now, we're going to assume that you understand how the flyweights work. So, 
the flyweights are connected to the pilot valve right there and right there and we've got a speeder spring we'll draw the speeder spring once again running out of colors I suppose it'll be yellow we'll have a plate right there and we'll draw the speeder spring um, maybe something like that gold that looks good sure okay and we'll have that connect to the prop handle the blue handle in the aircraft so now uh, we're actually done this is the basic prop system diagram um, for the PA44 now let's explain it a little bit let's say that the um, let's say that the prop is in an overspeed condition if the prop is in an overspeed condition that will mean that the prop RPM is too fast, it's too great. So the flyweights will not look like this. Uh, let's see if I can see if I can do this right. This is not exactly what I want, but it'll do. Okay. So the flyweights won't look like this. They'll look something like that. And so because they're moving upward, um, rather they're moving outward, and so the middles are moving upward, what it's going to do is it's going to lift up the pilot valve. So the pilot valve right here is going to get lifted up. It's going to move up like that. So we've got an overspeed condition. The prop is rotating too fast. The flyweights move outward the pilot valve moves upward and it allows oil to flow out of the hub and back to the sump. When you have less oil you have less RPM which causes the prop to spin slower. When the prop spins slower the flyweights move back into their normal position like that and the uh, pilot valve moves back down to where it was before neutral stopping the flow of oil and keeping the flyweights from moving any further. Well, cool, great. Okay, let's see what happens when uh, we have an underspeed condition. If we have an underspeed condition, the prop is not spinning fast enough, which means that the flyweights are not spinning fast enough, which means that centrifugal force is not available to hold them in their proper position, which means that the speeder spring is going to be pushing down on them and causing them to be tilted something like this. The force of the speeder spring uh, is pushing downward uh, and causing the flyweights to move inward. They don't have enough centrifugal force to push them out. Once again, uh, exactly the same thing happens. The pilot valve here moves, and this time it gets pushed downward, kind of like this. Oil is allowed to flow from the sump into the prop hub more oil means more RPM and when you get more oil and more RPM the prop spins faster which causes the flyweights to spin faster which causes them to resume their normal position which causes the pilot valve to move back into its normal position its neutral position and again stop the flow of oil so great uh, we've now got the um, pilot valve pretty much figured out well we've got really the entire system figured out uh, the only thing that remains is to draw the unfeathering accumulator and so we can draw that I'll see if I have a color for that one uh, sure we'll draw it we'll draw it something like this the unfeathering accumulator sits here and it stores oil pressure so stored oil pressure moves into the accumulator uh, whenever the oil pump is running and it just builds up pressure inside of here. What you've got on the other side of the accumulator is you've got nitrogen, stored nitrogen pressure. Now, when the prop goes into feather, the unfeathering accumulator uh, seals off. And so you've got a bunch of stored pressure in the unfeathering accumulator that doesn't have a chance to flow back to the oil sump. What's good about that is that when 
the time comes to unfeather the prop, meaning the prop is feathered and we want to get it spinning again, it's a pretty simple matter uh, to try to, when we unfeather the prop, let's, oops, try again. There we go. Okay, so we've uh, we've opened up the, the pilot valve. Oil is ready to flow into the sump. We have no oil pressure being created from the pump here, but what we can do is we can, there we go, open up the unfeathering accumulator. So the device opens up the unfeathering accumulator, and what we get is we get a flow of oil back from the unfeathering accumulator into the hub, which gives the prop just a little bit of kick. Once you get a little bit of kick on the prop, the oil pump starts working, and it starts pushing oil back into the rest of the system. So we can get rid of those guys right there. And I wonder... Oh, hey, look at that. Cool. Great. And then once the prop starts up, oil flows back into the unfeathering accumulator, the pressure builds back up again, pilot valve moves back into the neutral position. So, there you have it, the prop system diagram for the PA44.